Hello, my name is Rebecca and today we're going to be exploring the bookstores around Kansas City. I have my fiance here with me and the first one is going to be the Rainy Day Bookstore and it's perfect because it's pretty rainy outside. So let's go! Rainy Day Books has that warm community feel. They also have many author events that are hopefully coming up soon. going to is Prospero's which is not too far from the KU Med Center and more like downtown um, Kansas City. So let's look out for it. It is one of the oldest buildings in Kansas City. I think it used to be a grocery store and then it was a hardware store for a while. Um, so it's very unique and historic. Hello Ramona I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the goal. This building was built in 1890 and it's one of the oldest operating retail spaces in Kansas City. It has three floors and they sell used books, vinyl records, and CDs. Often they have many community events like concerts and readings. The next bookstore we're going to is Afterward, and it's actually a bar and bookstore. Um, so that's pretty exciting. So let's get some drinks and some books. Afterward has a small but interesting selection of books. They have alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks, and many of their cocktails are inspired by literature, which I think is really fun. absolutely pouring down but we're at our last uh, bookstore which is in the Kansas State side suburbs of Kansas City in Overland Park it's called the Green Door and my cousin actually works there so we're gonna go visit her there's the back of my cousin's head in the super The Green Door has a really good selection of modern fiction books with a mix of bestsellers and unique finds. They're also a really great place to get gifts for your trendy friends. Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. The engine glows. I guess you always seem to know Hello, Ramona I push back the serious feeling The ends unknown To get back the life I used to know to do a little book haul. I only got two books, but definitely wanted to get more. And the first one I got, <clears throat> and I apologize if I get any of these names wrong, is uh, We Run the Tides by Vendela Vida. It was a signed first edition. Um, it's based in San Francisco. And I've never actually, I haven't heard of this one. Um, I got this one in the Rainy Day Bookstore, and they had quite a few signed first editions of different books. The summary of this book is that there are two teenage girls in San Francisco. Chai, my dog, is uh, chewing on his bone right now, so that is what that is. Um, there are two uh, teenage girls in 1980 San Francisco in Sun Cliffs, San Francisco, who see something really horrendous, but they're not kind of sure if they actually saw it. 
Um, there's a potential kidnapping. It's a really small community. This is definitely something that I like. A lot of like oceany stuff as well. I think it's kind of like a whodunit or mystery. The next one I got, I got at Green Door Bookstore. And it's Little Fires Everywhere. And this one I had heard of on booktube on just like different lists and stuff um and it's by celeste mean i believe uh, i really love the covers of both these books <laughs> they look really good together as well this is also a suspense coming of age book um and at the beginning uh this mansion is on fire and it's kind of like what le led to uh, the mansion burning down. It's about a single mother and her teenage daughter who kind of meet up, become friends, become kind of enmeshed with this rich family with four teenage children. And there's also some stuff with like adoption and like the ethics of certain types of adoption. And it's based in a like perfect small um, community suburb outside of Cleveland, I believe. Um, so these actually, I didn't even realize it when I was getting them, but they're kind of like similar vibes. Thanks for watching. Uh, and let me know if I missed any uh, bookstores or uh, which one you would want to go to.